All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Silver Pine Forest. Uh, basically, all I've done is just cut out this journey from Brill here all the way down through here because there's no flight paths that we had connected. So we just got to make a long walk. All right, Grand Executor Mortus and Lady Sylvanas Windrunner herself is here. Let's see what he has for us. Most excellent. A new recruit has arrived. There's so much to do. Much to do, I say. Man, that's level 12 for us. Or we get one of the most roguey abilities of all time. <laughs> You're just in time, Rizota Snub. It is Rizota Snub, right? <laughs> sure. Looks at a sheet of paper. Yes, that's what the paperwork says. Rise out a snub. Points to my name on the sheet of paper. Where was I? Oh yes, you're just in time. The war chief should be arriving at any moment with our uh should be arriving at any moment to meet with our leader and savior, the Dark Lady herself. <laughs> uh does somebody want to tell him? No? Okay. <laughs> just stand by and be at your best behavior. I expect that when this demonstration is over, we will, we will all receive commendations. Where is that ogre-headed buffoon? Ah, speak of the devil. This better be important, Sylvanas. You know how I detest this place and its foul stench. Why have you called for me? And more importantly, what are those scourge fiends doing here? War Chief, so glad you could make it. With the death of the Lich King, many of the more intelligent scourge became unemployed. Those fiends, as you so delicately put it, are called Valkyr. They are under my command now. And they are part of the reason that I asked to see you. Get on with it, Sylvanas! Very well, War Chief. I have solved the plight of the Forsaken. As a race, we Forsaken are unable to procreate. With the aid of the Valkyr, we are now able to take the corpses of the Fallen and create new Forsaken. Agatha! Show the war chief. What you have done here, Sylvanas, it goes against the laws of nature. Disgusting. Is the only word I have to describe it. War Chief, without these new Forsaken, my people would die out. Our hold upon Gilneas and Northern Lordaeron would crumble. Have you given any thought to what this means, Sylvanas? What difference is there between you and the Lich King now? Isn't it obvious, War Chief? I serve the Horde. Watch your clever mouth, bitch. Chromosh, you stay behind and make sure the Banshee Queen is well guarded. I will be expecting a full report when next we meet. Remember, Sylvanas, eventually we all have to stand before our Maker and face judgment. Your day may come sooner than others. Alright, well, Grosh getting a little uh, silver tongue with the Banshee Queen. <laughs> Alright, Mortus. Well, that was unexpected. I am not one to doubt our War Chief, but. Never mind, we have work to do. I'm sure the Dark Lady and the War Chief will get this all worked out. Dark Lady, what you will. 
The battle over this region still rages, Rizoda Snub. Although we still, uh, although we soundly beat back the Gilnean defenses and took Gilneas for the horde, a small group of rebels managed to escape. The Gilnean Gilneas Liberation Front, as they call themselves, make attacks of opportunity against our forces in the field. The rebels have had a few minor victories and are now and now grow brazen in their assaults. The time to strike back is now, Rizoda Snub. I like that, Rizoda Snub. Venture south into the wilds of Silver Pine and kill any rebel that you cross. All right, so we have to kill ten Morgan rebels. However, there's a couple other quests for us to pick up here and a flight path, so let's do that. All right, thank you for the flight path, sir. So now we can fly to and from that location at any time. Hi, Apothecary Shanat Thveen. Thveen? I hope I'm pronouncing that right. There's a lot of apothecaries around here. She has some weird, like, BDSM straps on her face. If we're to get this new blight up and running, we'll need to clean beast guts. The problem is that clean beast guts are a rare commodity in Silver Pine Forest. Most of the beasts here have succumbed to disease, and thus only have diseased organs. Do a sweep of the forested area here for wargs and grizzled bears. Kill only the non-diseased variety and rip out their entrails. Bring me all of the clean guts that you can stuff into your backpack. Alright, it's pretty grody, but I guess that's what the Forsaken are all about. And yet another apothecary. You have no doubt heard about the incident that transpired at the Wrathgate in Northrend, yes? Due to those unfortunate events, we are strictly forbidden from using the strain of life-shattering blight that we finally perfected. Now we have rules and regulations and other nonsense. <clears throat> They've given us some neutered version of the perfect blight and expect us to weaponize it. If I'm going to get this crap functional, I'll need several bags of ferocious doomweed. You'll find it all over do Silver Pine. Doomweed, we, we picked a bunch of that earlier. Alright. Oh, we need eight ferocious doomweed. Okay. Oh, there's one already. Let's see, it's just... Yeah, it's just, just killing and collecting a bunch of different stuff. So I'll see you in a second. Oh yeah, I totally didn't go over the new ability we got, derp. Uh, it's the ability Sap. Requires you to be stealthed, and basically it just, um, when used on a non, or when used on a humanoid target in co uh, that is not in combat, does it have to be humanoid or can it be a beast? Humanoids, beasts, demons, and dragon again. Okay. So basically, we can just sap it, and then it'll just be stunned for a full minute, basically. It'll break if we do damage to it, but it means that we can go, we can sneak past things uh, if we can't use our stealth. For, actually, no, we have to be stealthed to use it. But basically, let's say there's two enemies grouped together. We can be stealthed, sap one of them, and fight the other guy, kill him, and then focus on the second guy without having to worry about being attacked by two enemies at once. Right, but we need to kill this guy anyways. Alright, we've done all the killing, gotten all the guts, 
gotten all the glory. And by glory, I mean weeds. Let's turn in all of our quests. Remember, I can only use clean beast cuts for the new strain of blight we've been developing. Or we're developing. Excellent. With these guts and ferocious doom weed, we'll be able to test our, out our new strain of blight. Now to select a suitable target. Hello. Have you collected all the ferocious doom weed I requested? Why, yes, I have. Agony abounds, friend. The land itself threatens to devour us, and yet we persist. I wonder why that is. With this doomweed and the guts and gore that Tavine needs, we might have something suitable to send to the Forsaken Front. Goodbye. Alright, of course, now she's going to offer us a new quest, because those two were related to each other. What will you require? The concoction is finally ready, but before I can put my seal of approval on this strain, we'll need to run a field test. Speak to Bat Handler Maggot Breath here on High Command and requisition a bat. The bat will take you to the Dawning Isles, east of here across Lordomir Lake, right into the heart of the depravity itself. The vile Finn Murloc dens. Use the concoction against the Murlocs and report bat the results back to me. Those results being that you killed them all, as commanded. Dark Lady Watcher. Right, that'll be a fun quest to do, which we'll probably do after we turn in this quest down here. Uh, Mr. Martus. What is it? Rizalda Snub has returned, and in one piece. Defender of Silverpine, Redeemer of the Horde, Rizalda Snub, your bravery must be rewarded. Oh, snap. An item with stats on it, finally. Our first item is going to be a cape. I think that was, um, that was the case in the starting zone, too. I think the very first item we got was a little cape. It's pretty ugly, but it has agility on it, which is our primary stat. I'll increase our damage and crit chance, oh so slightly. I like how this um, Forsaken War Horse is considered Lady Sylvanas' Windrunner's pet. Alright. Alright, the Bat Keeper. Bat Handler Maggot Breath. Gross. What do you want? Can't you see I have bat droppings to clean up? Uh, I need I need to take a bat to the Dawning Isles, please. Alright, now I get to do one of a handful of bombing quests in WoW. I like these quests. You basically just fly, you're basically on a, a predetermined flight path, and you just throw bombs at the ground to just defeat enemies. Or destroy objects or whatever, but in this case it's to kill some murlocs. Which I am always okay with. I like Murlocs, but I also like killing Murlocs. Where are they? Oh, they're just down here. Okay. Sorry, not sorry, Murlocs. I have a job to do. I need the glorious quest rewards. Not sure what's going on with the camera. Why it keeps like resetting uh, its vertical position as well. Oh, there's a whole grouping of them up there. Yeah. That should complete the quest for us. Yep. And it's returning us back to the command post flying through trees. I do like the fact that this bat automatically returns rather than you having to activate a different ability to return or having to wait for it to uh, complete its entire flight path. All right, the Veet. Or the Veen, rather. What would you ask of Potent enough to exterminate a thousand murlocs. I think I'll put that on the label. You've done well. And great work here. Around here gets rewarded. Aw, oh, yeah. Beware. Finally getting statted items. And a level. Oh, and I didn't even realize we got a uh, sword at some point as well.
Oops. It's basically the same as our current sword model, but it's green. Kind of like how our daggers were. Throw on those pants and we're good to go. There's some ugly pants. <laughs> but I'll take them. Don't think we got anything at level 13. No. But at level 14 we get Ambush and Crimson Vial. Ambush is very good opening damage, and Crimson Vial is really good sustainability. Both of which are going to be very nice for us. What now? Do you know why Mortusus or Mortus appends nub to your name? Because an incompetent because he's an incompetent psychophant that has trouble seeing through his oversized helmet. Nub is your classification. You are now part of the new Undercity Battalion. <laughs> We're a nub, guys. But enough with the comedy. I sent Deathstalker Yorick on a shadow operation two days ago. Her goal was to get information on the Gilneas Liberation Front in return. Three days, and no word from her. Head southwest to the Ivor Patch and look for Yorick. Alright, I can do that. Well, it's just down here as well. Excuse me, Sylvanas, coming through. Nice to see you. Huh. Three days and they're in an outhouse. Is there anyone in that outhouse? Not that I can see. Not that I'm being a creeper or anything. Belmont gets a little nervous and sends some newbie to look for me. Listen, I've been staking out the old Ivor Cottage from inside this outhouse for three days. Your presence threatens the whole got the whole damn operation. I can we're holding our swords while reading an invisible letter. There's no time to explain. We have to act now or this mission will be compromised. The Ganesh Liberation Front leader, Darius Crowley, has been meeting with another worgen inside this cottage for the past three days. I'm not sure what's going on, but we need to get inside the cottage and find the, a good hiding place from where we can eavesdrop. It's now or never, Undead. We may never get another shot. Just promise me that if I don't make it, you'll return to Forsaken High Command and inform Belmont of whatever we discover. All right. We haven't got much time. Curly will be arriving shortly. Let's go. Oh, I don't like when NPCs do this when they they run or they move slower than your run but faster than your walk. It just makes it really awkward. Rain Yorick. There, hide in the Amor. I'll hide in the shadows next to you. Have you given any thought more thought to my proposal, Ivor? Why well, trust you now, Crowley? You abandoned us, left us to die. If we're to win this war, we'll need your help. Our packs must unite. The Forsaken will destroy us otherwise. You are the Alpha Male, Ivor. The rest of the Ferals in Silverpine will do as you command. I don't care about your war, Crowley. But... I have seen firsthand what the Forsaken are capable of doing. It is true. They hunt us. Slaughter the defenseless. So, you will help? Aye, I will gather my pack. We... Hmm. It would appear that we are being watched, Crowley. You have grown soft. Likely Greymane's fault. Treacherous little pop! What say you now, spy? I live and die for the Banshee Queen. I was hoping you'd say that. I will prepare the pack, and will take some time to gather them all, but for now, we will join you. I 
Alright, well, good thing they found her, but not me. <laughs> Your sacrifice will not be forgotten, Yorick. I'm gonna get out of here. Alright, Belmont, I return. Alas, poor Yorick. I knew her, Rizotis, an assassin of infinite courage. Now, tell me what's going on. What did you and York discover? He hands us a sealed envelope. Deliver this report to Lady Sylvanas. It is my assessment that the situation of Silver Pine or it is my assessment of the situation in Silver Pine based on your you and York's field work. If we do not stamp out the Worgen insurgents, they will overrun us. The time to act is now. Equip those new mitts. Alright, Sylvanas, I've come from a very long ways away. All the way across the, the path to bring you this message. Kneel before your queen. Hey, she knows our name. I'm honored. Crowley, a gnat, an insect, waiting to be crushed beneath my boot heel. So he thinks he... He thinks to rouse the Pharaoh Worgen of the Silver Pine. We shall show him and his allies the might of the Forsaken. But first, we must clean up the mess made by the War Chief's fleet. Without their aid, we may lose this war. Our reinforcements from Kalimdor arrived last night. Three orc gunships full of supplies, weapons, and soldiers. Three orc gunships lost to Bloodfang's damned Worgen. How can an entire orc fleet lose to a small band of enemy combatants that lacks any siege weaponry? An important question that you will answer for me. Gather your gear and report to the orc admiral Hatchet at the Forsaken Rear Guard southwest of here. Get those orcs operational. I await your full report. Yes, my lady. Alright, well that's going to do it for an episode for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching as usual. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to let me know down in the comments section below. With all that being said, take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.